How's it going? Juan and I were headed up to Church Mountain. It's up in the Mount Baker region. Doing a one night overnighter. So we are prepared. And uh, let's get up to the meadow. Oh yeah, and have see a good time. Have a good time. So right now what we're doing is looking for a camp spot. We want to be by this creek, but we also want to be in a little bit of cover, not so exposed. Man, it's just absolutely gorgeous up here. So Juan and I found camp, it's not the flattest spot but it'll work. It's pretty wet up here, it's consistently raining, everything's damp, but it's going to work out, it's going to be a good time, it's fucking absolutely beautiful, stunning, breathtaking. I'm talking about him, not the hike. Me? So here's camp, it's Juan's Nemo tent. I think it's absolutely awesome. It's my camp over there. It's getting all set up. Probably making ourselves a fire here in a bit. I don't think this rain or mist is gonna let off anytime soon. But got some cold beer in the creek. And we're making the best of it. Highway to the danger zone. Oh my god, there's the one. There's one, the one. The one everybody's been looking for. That's the one. This guy? Yeah, that guy. Yeah. So if you see one and I have been here trying to get a little fire going, about to have some lunch and determine whether we're going to make it up to the summit or not. I brought chicken from home. And I brought a deer steak. I harvest, harvested this deer. I eat this deer. Just absolutely amazing. Phenomenal eating. Did some see some deer poop up here, so there are deer up here. Gotta find them. That's why they call them the ghosts of the Northwest. A little bit of smoke that butt. It's probably not smart that I hold that up to my face. Burn myself. 
but at least you just see this beautiful, beautiful piece of chicken. So, we just decided to leave camp. This camp's right there. We've got one in front of me leading the way. And uh, we decided to go and bag church today and not tomorrow, not tomorrow morning. Bag and church today. Oh yeah, those are deer tracks right there. You see that in the snow. That's a deer walking through here, one. Did you grow hooves? Kind of. It's extremely wet here in mid-July, July 18th. And it's been a pretty unusual year. Snow's been hanging around for a very long time. Well, we get to a little bit more interesting spot, so we'll uh, turn the GoPro back on. So it looks like it looks like the trail splits here and goes up and left and right. We're gonna be going to the right of the trail. And the views from up here are incredible. Alright, nice solid cable to hold on to here. Holy shit. <laughs> this is just crazy. Oh my lord. I'm coming. Who wants me to go up that? That's just absolutely bonkers. This is nuts. Follow the cable. This is definitely not a spot you want to lose your marbles. A little bit of a pucker factor, but that's alright. There's two ways to go up here. Pucker factor is to the left. Non-pucker is to the right. Oh, dude, right from here, gorgeous view of Baker. I don't know if you can see that behind me, poking through the clouds. We live in a beautiful state. Yes, sir. Let me show you one. How you doing, one? Absolutely amazing. Go on. 
Still alive. This is the human of marmots here. He's using both hands. Uh, three points of contact at all times. <laughs> Funny guy. I don't know if we should have brought our helmets on this one. I don't feel like we should have brought them. I feel pretty safe without them. Holy smokes, this place is fucking awesome. Whoa, you almost finished this, <laughs> this place is gorgeous. There's a kidney lakes behind me. Not my kidneys. This little camp spot right there. Yeah, All right. Here it is. I can made it. Juan and I made it. July 18th. Woo! 2022. Marmot heaven up here. Oh, I got service. No way. Yes. Now most of the movies will we'll head back. I'm on a 37 percent Well, this place is awesome. Put it on your bucket list. Make it happen. It's a hard one, but it's definitely worth it. Every step of the way. I'll see you at the next trailhead. Really appreciate you.